Well, hi guys. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a bit of an edge test, a bit of a practice. Uh, basically, I've taken the knife I made about a year ago. So again, hopefully this will give me a bit of an idea. I'm hoping the heat treats I'm doing now are a damn sight better. But even saying that, I just wanted to give this a bit of a go because what I've done is I've actually got a couple of big nicks in it, so I'm, I didn't take them out. But I've been using it for all sorts. Is um, I've sharpened the knife, <laughs> apart from taking the dings out. And basically, what I've done. I've got a got my uh, honing stone. Put it on as if you're going to sharpen it, just lift it that little bit more and then just let the knife run along. And that's basically putting a micro burr on that knife. And that's just if you're going to be using your bushcraft knife for a bit more heavy abusey type stuff. I just wanted to see how, you know, I'm going to put a piece of manica, I'm going to go outside and just keep smashing the knife on it and see what it does. Because obviously one of the complaints with uh, Scandi is that they, they roll too easy. I think some of them roll too easy because some people make them too fine. They take them down to like 22 degrees and stuff and it's getting a bit ridiculous. A bloody razor blade's 22 degrees. But anyway, you know, I think when you're on your sort of like 26 minimum, 28, 30 degrees, I think you've got a much more usable knife. Obviously not quite as fine. But it depends what you want to use it for. So basically that's all I do. It's just the weight of the knife. That's all I've used. At the end, you're not trying to grind another bevel on there. You're just putting a micro bevel on because the next time you sharpen it, you sharpen it normally. Then put the micro bevel back on. And what I've got here, you can see that I'm kinking it when it hits that kink. But... So, not too shabby. So let's get outside because my battery's going to die soon. It's gone onto one bar. But I'll try and get this done. So I've got to, I've not actually thought about what I was going to do, but I think we'll need to try and stay in the shade because it's a bit sunny and bright. Right, obviously you need to see what's happening, that I'm not blocking off or taking anything off or whatever. I'm going to add a bit. Right, so what I'm going to do is basically just... This! Oh, these bits are going to be flying all over when I'm all the lawn. Right, anyway. One. <sighs> Got to have any trouble hanging on. I wouldn't want to use this to build a canoe if I had to do this with it. I wish I'd thought of something easy before I started this. It'll be time for a cup of tea. It's a bit of falling on another. Sorry, it's the same knife, same knife. I've only got one.
Oh, bloody hell, my legs just fallen off my tripod. Come on, Simon, I don't even know that about. That's what you get for getting a... That's what you get for picking a tripod up out of a free bin. A bit better than buying it. So anyway... There we go. Now, that's a piece of paper. And look off, and like you saw out there. Not too shabby. Oh. I think, you know, I'm sincerely hoping, after all the bloody work I've put in, my heat treatment is a damn sight better than I did when I first started with this, which is what I used to do. So, uh, if that's what it'll do now, I think I can be quite confident with uh, the new stuff. And as far as anybody says about... <sighs> Bloody hell, that's Scandi's. I'm not fit as I used to be. About Scandi's rolling, edge rolling. Apart from, like I said, I had, there's a couple of nicks in there which were there before I, I start. Let's get a bit of a... That edge is not rolled at all, even after that kind of abuse. So, O1 oh, high carbon tool steel, bloody awesome. All right guys, thanks for that, thanks for watching. People always seem to like watching people destroy things, so hopefully that was a bit of entertainment, watching old man get knackered. And, uh, Get that up and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and keep an eye on what knives are coming out. Oh, get out there doing it guys, awesome. Thank you for your time.